This tutorial is about inserting and formatting pictures in Google Docs. If I want to insert a picture, first of all I want to decide roughly where I want it in my document. So for this picture, I want it about raspberries near the raspberry. I'm going to click next to raspberry and then I'm going to use the toolbar. So you click on the image item icon and click upload from computer. If you're using a Chromebook, this might be from your um, one of your folders or from you might upload from Drive. So we'll actually, it doesn't really make any difference. Oh, actually it does, it makes a hell of a difference. This tutorial is about inserting pictures and formatting pictures in Google Docs. The first thing to decide is roughly where you'd like your picture to go in your document. I'd like to insert a picture about raspberries into this first paragraph. So I click in the paragraph. On the toolbar, I'm going to click the insert image icon. In this case, I'm going to use from Google Drive because that's where my photos are saved. <clears throat> a task pane opens at the side. My photographs are actually in recent because I've only just uploaded them but you might need to go to my drive and then choose the folder that you've um, uploaded them to. To select the picture, just click on it and at the bottom where it says one selected, click insert. This picture has come in enormously big, so we need to click on it to select it. You can use click and drag by hovering over the corner handle and always use the corner to keep it in proportion and use the two headed arrow to click and drag. But that's going to be quite difficult on such a large picture. So instead, I'm going to click on image options on the toolbar, which will open the image options pane on the side. Click the arrow to expand the options for size and rotation. Click on, I'm going to click on height and type 5. When I press enter, it will actually change the width as well as the height. So back on my document, if I scroll up, you'll see that my picture's there. What I'd quite like to do is crop my picture. The crop symbol is these two intersecting corners. When you click crop, the handles on your picture change to black marks. By hovering over the black mark I can drag down and you'll notice the bit I'm getting rid of has gone grey. When I click crop again the picture has been cropped to remove the bit I don't want. Now I need to look at my wrapping options so I'm going to collapse the size and rotation on the side and go to text wrapping. There are two places you can do text wrapping. Below the picture, when you're clicked on it, you've got three options there. So you can have it in line with text as it is now. The problem with this is that it gives a big space above the, the rest of the text. If I choose wrap text, I can move the picture around and the text will wrap around it. I'm going to position my photograph at the side. If I go too high up it starts to move the heading along so make sure that you nudge it using the cursor arrows. Skip that, just drag it because the cursor arrows don't really work so well in Google Docs. I've done it until my heading has popped back into being properly centered. If you click break text what that does is it wraps it top and bottom so that you can get a whole paragraph above it and a whole paragraph below it. I much prefer wrap text and generally will use wrap text. The other options can be to recolor it so you might want to change the hue altogether or you can change it to a black and white photograph. Let's go for no recolor here. 
and on adjustments you can change the transparency. So if I drag that transparency slider, then I can actually <coughs> fade it out a little bit to make it a lot less noticeable. These options, this option is the most important one, which is how far away the text is from the picture. If I click 1.6, then I can come much closer to it. If you choose zero, it does mean that the text can, you can be very close to the text and it looks a bit crowded. So do pay attention to those margins. I'm going to close the image options now and insert another picture. So at the end, I'd quite like to, I was thinking of putting it at the beginning, I'd quite like to put a picture of my garden. So click the image file, insert image from Google Drive. I'm going to click my whole garden and click insert. Again, the picture is very large, but this time I don't want it so small. So I'm just going to drag it with the corner handle. Now the problem I've got now is that all my text has disappeared and left my poor raspberries stranded. So I think what I'm going to do is put it at the end of the document instead. So I'm going to go to cut, either control and X or edit and cut. Delete the return I put in. Scroll down to the end of the document. Press return and then paste. So control V or paste. If it's popped onto a new page because it's too big, resize it from the corner handle again, two headed arrow, drag in. When you let go, it'll either fit or it won't. Keep doing it a little bit at a time until it pops up onto the previous page. I'd quite like to have this centred, so I'm going to just on the alignment buttons, centre align the picture. There's a blank line below this, so I'm just going to backspace to get rid of that spare page. It's always worth checking when I go to the scroll bar how many pages I've got to make sure that I haven't got too many and there's not a blank page at the end. So that's how you insert pictures and format them. So the two important things are insert image, and then when you've got the image selected, you get then get the image options, which give you the image options pane over here. Thank you.